So after you've made the decision to move your data and desktops and applications out from underneath the user's desks and into either a public cloud or even just into your private data center, the next thing you need to think about is how are you going to secure access to those resources? That's the role of a connection broker. For the user, it's their login portal. It's where they go to enter their username and their password or whatever other credentials you decide to use. The broker then validates those users' credentials and then offers them only the assets that they've been given permission to access. Now for your IT staff, the connection broker is a platform where they can define the access control rules that indicate what that user has access to. And those rules are based not just on who the user is, but also on where they're logging in from. If you think in terms of a university, as students move from classroom to classroom, they need to have access to different data and different applications based on the classroom they log into. And the connection broker automates that kind of access for you.